Hello, this video will be about humanoid controlled version 3 and VR weapons in Drag Rush. So in the past few weeks I've been trying to uh, do some st things with uh, VR weapon in Drag and to see how humanoid controlled version 3 can uh, work with that. And in this video I will show you how I can do the first steps with that and I'm looking forward to your uh, feedback on this. Uh, so I have this project set up with the humanoid control version 3 and the VR Weapon Interactor, VR Interactor Action. I haven't imported Steam VR or Oculus. As you can see, there's a warning about that, but I don't need them. And if I don't inter import them, uh, everything still works. It's just this annoying dialogue is still in the inside the screen and will appear from time to time. Um, so what I'm going to do is take the VR Weapon Interactor a prefab uh, weapon, the web M9. I'm not an expert on weapons, so I'm probably missing some things uh, here, but uh, I will hear from you, I guess. So uh, the weapon is now inside the scene, and I will just move it above the table. And one of the things, I, I'm going to bypass some of Sam's wonderful work uh, because Humanoid Control works a bit differently than a Steam VR and uh, Sam's work. So one of the important things is that actually the gun needs to be non-kinematic. In Humanoid Controls the hands are being tracked and the guns are just objects you can grab. Just like any object, it's a non-kinematic object which you can grab. So just disable is kinematic on the weapons and the magazines and so on, uh, because then it can that then can work. Uh, so first thing we need to do is position the gun inside the hand, and that's quite easy to do. Uh, when you go to the humanoids, and I want to put it into the left hand to to do the setup. Uh, it, it works for both hands if you set it up. Uh, you can see that the left hand target has a grab object, which is actually the object which is in the hand when it is being grabbed. And if you do that, use that in edit mode and fill it with an object, this object will automatically move into the hand. And now you can actually position the object inside the hand. So if I double click on the object, which is the, uh, the weapon is in this case, I can just move it around with the standard Unity controls such that it's more or less well, I'm not going to be exact here because that will take quite a lot of time to be uh, to get it really good uh, but this is the general idea As you, you just position it in, inside the hand and that will be automatically stored and when you grab the gun with either hand it will appear in the position of the hand uh, somewhere like this. Um, so that's step one. Uh, the next thing, uh, oh no, uh, what I want to explain is uh, these settings are uh, automatically stored in an object which is added to the gun automatically when you put it into the hand. And this object is the handle, and the handle basically describes what um, uh, how the, the object behaves when you're holding it inside your hand. So one of the things is the position and another one I'm going to show you is the hand pose because actually when you hold the gun like this you will drop it to the ground automatically. So I'm going to set a hand pose um, of, uh, of the hand while it's grabbing the gun and for that I'm going to use one of the uh, poses which are already inside the humanoid control uh, package, which is called hand pointing, which is actually uh, one uh, with the index finger extended, and I'm going to update that to match uh, to match the the needed position of the uh, hand while holding the gun. So I make a duplicate of that, and I will call it gun. And whatever <laughs> gun hand. So this is actually the pose I'm going to use 
when I'm holding the hand. So I'm going to the, uh, to the handle of the weapon and I'm going to assign the uh, gun hand to the hand pose. And uh, in, in the proper release version, then the hand should already move to this position. Uh, but this is a pre-release and <laughs> I see this is not working yet. So what I do now is go to the hand. I just remove the gun from the hand. So you can see it's not lo no longer in the hand anymore. It's still on the same position, but it's not in the hand. And now I add it again to the hand. And now you can see uh, the gun is now inside the hand. Well, more or less, it should be positions a bit more back. So like this. Uh, okay, so now when we go to the hand, we see, well, the, uh, the hand is more, well, it's about right, but I want to uh, actually add a bit more curl uh, of, to the index finger. The index finger is now completely extended, but I want to change the, the pose so that it's more around the trigger of the gun. So if I go to the left hand target, you can see that currently the hand pose is the gun hand, which we uh, used. If you extend the hand pose, you can see that this gun hand, we can actually update. Uh, so we can edit it by clicking this button at the end. And now you can see that uh, all the joints will have this square, white square. And this actually uh, enables you to change the bones of the hand to match exactly what you want. Uh, and this one needs to curl a bit more. So something, something like this. Uh, I'm not going to do this uh, in detail, but you get the picture. So actually now we have a, a position in the hand and a hand pose and uh, oh, what we didn't know, well, we want to shoot the gun. <laughs> yes, okay, so I'm going back to the gun. So double click on the object into the hand. So this is the gun and I want to shoot it when I'm pressing a button. So if we go back to the handle, we had the hand pose, we had the transform already. You can also see there's controller input. And this is actually defining what happens where, uh, when you press buttons or uh, move the thumbstick or something like that while holding the gun. So these are actually the input uh, actions uh, while the gun is being held. So what I want to do, I'm using uh, the Oculus right now. So I want to use the trigger one to actually shoot the gun, basically. Hmm? So I click on this line and then you can see I get an editor of what should happen when trigger one is being pressed. So when the, uh, the button is starting to be pressed, I want to shoot the gun. Okay, so now I need to call a method on a target. And the target in this case is the Sam's gun handler because that's actually uh, implementing all the functionality of the, of the guns. And on the gun handler, I'm going to call the function shoot. Yeah? So when I press the trigger one, I'm starting to press the trigger one, the shoot function of the VR gun handler is being called. And basically that should be enough to, sh uh, oh, no, it's not enough. Mail coming in. Uh, it's not enough because we need a magazine. Okay, so, um, I will just uh, put the gun back on the table because the gun is ready. And so I remove it from the hand. So the grab object is deleted. And you see now the gun is just a scene object. And I will move it onto the table or somewhere above the table so that it will drop. Because it's a non-kinematic kinematic object it will drop onto the table. Okay, magazine, magazine. We need a magazine. So the weapons interactor has ammo and I just click this and I will just add the magazine to the scene. So here it is. And let's 
try to put it somewhere or in a sense of place on the table, somewhere around here. Well, uh, well, it's good to have it on the table, but I want to position it in the hand just like the gun. So this time I'm going to use the right hand. So this is the magazine. As you can see, I disabled again the is kinematic uh, option. And now I'm going to do the same with the magazine as I did with the gun. Uh, so I go to the right hand target and now I get the magazine and I put it into the right hand. So if you can see it, it's, well, somewhere in the right hand. <laughs> uh, double click on the magazine and now I just extend it a bit higher because then it makes it easier to to put it into the gun. Okay, I will just leave it at that. As you can see, the magazine has now also has a handle. I'm not going to do anything special with that. It's just uh, like that. It's yeah. So right hand target, remove the gun, delete from the hand again. So now I can put it on, oh, not the hand, I want to put the magazine onto the table. Ah, the Oculus is still, no, that's not, oops, not going to cause any issues. Just remove this for now. Okay, so this is the gun handle. You can actually see the yellow brick, which is part of, uh, the handle, this is actually a, a visualization of the, the handle where it's going to be held. And if you go to the gun, you may be able to see the same. Yeah, sometimes you see it, sometimes it's transparent and sometimes it's not. It's a bit unclear to me when this happens. But nevertheless, um, the magazine, I should put it a bit more to the left. somewhere around this. Okay, um, I need to do one thing, because this all works quite well, but I need to make a change, sorry Sam, I need to make a change to the code. And that's because I'm not using the VR interaction, I'm just using the handles as you can see. Um, so for that, I go to the to the code of Sam and I go to the VR attachments function, and there you have the untrigger state, which is actually executing the tests whether the, the magazine can uh, be inserted into the gun. And there's one test which always fails in my case, uh, which is the held by. So um, this is checking whether the magazine is held by a VR interactor, is, as you can see. And as I'm not using VR Interactor for that, uh, it always fails. It, it just returns and you cannot uh, attach the, the magazine to the gun. So what I do is just comment this check out. And that's basically all I need to make it work. So I need to do, to do this. So I have the gun, I have the magazine. Uh, I, yeah, there you have the <laughs> warning again. Just ignore it. So, well, well let's see. Uh, I probably missed something again. Um, so let's see. Okay, my hands are working. I can grab the gun. I can grab the magazine. Yeah, oh, no. What did I do wrong? What I did wrong, I do wrong, is that the gun hand pose is still on the left hand, so it's always in that pose. Uh, so the gun, the magazine didn't load into the gun. Ah, uh, it's always something. <laughs> uh, so where is it? So that's the magazine. Can I? No. Ah. Again. 
when it drops onto the ground then uh, so here's the magazine here's the gun what did I do wrong this time last time it did work and it's not kinematic did I ask uh, often I let's see it's no attachment uh, you slide out oh yeah I have bullet on load we need to enable this uh, oh it's not there's another thing uh, in the code of uh, of uh, Sam. I don't know whether it's uh, um, a bug or it's intentional, but uh, I have found that uh, there's a piece in the VR gun handler which is commented out, and when it's commented out, then the um, uh, start loaded function doesn't work. So I maybe it's just some testing which Sam forgot to take out. Maybe I'm wrong somewhere, but I usually uncomment this, this part. So, so maybe that's also preventing uh, my setup. Oh, the main camera this shouldn't be there because the humanoid has a camera. So let's try again. Okay, that's one. That's two. Why isn't this working? The last take it did work, but then I found out halfway through that my screen capture didn't start. So what if did I do? There's nothing special here. It should work. What I sometimes do is just extend this oh this is too high and the scale is different oh yeah you can see <laughs> the scale is huge here so this is why this is working so strangely and like this if I make it bigger then it's easier to Attach it. No. Yes. Please do it for me. No. It doesn't work this time. Okay. I don't know why yet. Uh, probably missed a setting somewhere. <laughs> it happens often. Um, I'm just doing it differently. I'm going to uh, enter what I said. Start loaded. And it already has it should have. There we go. Some. Ah! Now you can see. And now it's empty. So uh, I'm still puzzled on why the magazine do doesn't load. Uh, like I said, I probably missed something. Oh, did I? No, I did. Ha! <laughs> I did save this code, so that's not the reason. No, no idea. Uh, but I will continue working on this. I, like I said, I missed something somewhere. Uh, there's something with the slide, uh, the auto load bullet. Maybe I should do something with that. But like I said, I don't understand the guns. I'm not a gunman uh, myself. Uh, so maybe you can help me out. What do you want to see on the gun? Uh, I can make uh, more complex things. But uh, well, this is the first attempt and. Actually, I'm uh, happy to see that uh, Humanoid and VR Interactor are working uh, this well together. There's only one small change, like I said, he held by. So maybe with Sam we can make, come up with uh, uh, something which uh, makes it work with uh, both options, Team VR and Humanoid Control. Uh, yeah, this is, this is uh, the dialogue is a bit... Uh, Annoying, but that's not important. 
So I'm looking forward to see your uh, feedback uh, on this. Uh, I will be posting this on the Discord channel of Human Rights Control within uh, the VR Weapon Interactor channel. And uh, I hope to hear back from you. Okay, thank you. Bye.